Hello! I've watched a lot of video about people putting aloe vera on their face, so I thought I'd try it. Now this is my plant. It's a little bit withered, but I bought it so I could use it on my face. I haven't really got round to it, but I am going to do it now, because some of these leaves, well, they're no good. I'll get one. The trouble with this plant is it is looking a little bit raggledy. That's a real word. And I need to really sort it out. So what I did was I cut a piece off. Now it's all shriveled as you can see, but there is enough aloe on the end, I think, to do something with. So what I'm gonna do is put it on my face. I think you can get it from lots of groceries. You can get just a nice big fat juicy bit, but I didn't get that. I just got a shriveledy one. But you know, as I said, there's enough in there. And I've seen loads of people cut it off carefully. I'm just gonna really not cut. What's the point cutting off carefully? So I'm just gonna snap a bit off. Ooh, <laughs> that's lovely. Uh, right, so I've got enough to use it more than once, I think. Now, people have sort of squished it up in like an egg cup, but I don't think you need to do that. I think you can just get it straight from the, straight from the thing. That's lovely. Ah! So you, you're supposed to put it on your face and after five days you're supposed to have an amazing wonderful face but I can't wait that long I'm just gonna do it once and maybe I'll do another I've got hair on me uh, so obviously there's the right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it this is probably the wrong way to do it just putting greasy so it's not greasy it's sort of refreshing but it is very slimy I think there was a big trend for putting snails um, goo on your face a few years ago. The trouble with that is snails go goo, <laughs> the sort of stuff that comes out of snails, it's like this, except it's got all parasites and horrible stuff in it, so people were probably getting ill unless they, if they'd done it just taking them straight from the garden, that's not great at all, so don't do that. So, you can crush it up as I said, or you can just see there's loads left. It's like, uh, you know that children's slime you can get in a pot that's probably what this is you can probably put that on your don't put that on your face all right so yeah that's what i'll do so mm, refreshing mm -hmm. does it look better already probably does it probably looks perfect so i don't know if i keep using this well, I can't use very much because it's a bit of a shriveled leaf. If I, I use, oh, there's a bit on the end as well. Oh, there's more than I thought. Maybe cutting it off as, yeah, there's not any in the middle. So, let's see what happens. Maybe I'll be just looking like 50 years younger, which will be a long time. I'm not 50, so, so that'll be not even born. I'm not sure that's good because I'll just be disappeared and I won't be here anymore. I don't know. So anyway, that's what you do with aloe vera and I've got enough on my hands to have a lovely refreshing hand cream as well. Mmm, lovely. Bye! Just a note, don't get it in your mouth because you know those bitter aloes. Is it bitter aloes? Anyway, it's bitter.